In this small town on Monday night, thousands of people will gather in school gymnasiums and church basements and help decide America's future. I view this as an extremely important election because we live in a divided time. The first votes of the 2020 campaign will be cast in Iowa, the state with a huge influence in picking presidential candidates. This moment is our moment to dream big, fight hard, and win. The Iowa caucuses opened the fight to be the last Democrat standing. But with no clear front runner, the top presidential hopefuls are sprinting to the finish line. For that, they must connect with voters and convince them to turn up in high numbers. Turnout is paramount for the caucuses. It's hard to get out. In February in Iowa, it can be cold, snowy, it's on a Monday night. So it's really important that the campaigns build their structure to ensure that folks can get out. The campaign that can turn out voters the best is going to win the caucus. That's just the fact. If it is a low turnout election, Trump will win. Democratic senators in this race are making up for lost time. They've been stuck in the Senate for the impeachment trial. While their 2020 rivals have had the campaign trail in Iowa, mostly to themselves. I've been in Washington for a long time, locked down, and I need to get to a lot of places around Iowa. On the final weekend of campaigning, the release of the highly anticipated Des Moines Register poll was canceled over concerns about how it was conducted. So right now, it's really anyone's race. And I don't think I am going to be decided when I go into caucus. Um, I think I'm going to go in undecided this year and listen to what people have to say. The leading contender's final pitch to voters? Why they are the candidate who can defeat President Donald Trump. I do have a nickname I want to give him. Former President, former President. Donald Trump. And it starts here. <laughs> it starts here. Though Iowa is right now at the center of America's political universe, Trump is focusing instead on a Democratic candidate who's skipping the early voting state. Trump using his Super Bowl pregame interview with Fox's Sean Hannity to make this claim about Michael Bloomberg. Now he wants a box for the debates to stand on. Okay, it's okay. There's nothing wrong. You can be short. Why should he get a box to stand on? Bloomberg's campaign saying that is a lie. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.